Hey everybody, it's me from AIDIY. AIDIY.tech is the website. I'm Matt. Today I want to dig back into Refusion, which is now producer.ai, because a lot of you are using it now and they've updated terms. And I just want to talk a little bit about that and then do a quick demo. Cool, welcome back to the show. Again, this is AIDIY.tech, AIDIY Tech YouTube channel. I do things like, you know, weekly song features in the AI music space. If you want to submit a song, it's AIDIY.tech slash contact. But today I want to talk about how there's been an update. People have been saying there's been a lot more good quality work coming out of Refusion. We're gonna talk about why the name change has sort of happened. So I'll dig into that first. Why did they change the name? So why the name change? And I'll just read that here. Producer.ai is both incredibly familiar and radically new. While we know and love the Refusion name and story, we also know that most people can't spell Refusion or remember it on first glance. We believe everyone will have an agentic musical collaborator in the future, and the producer.ai brand establishes us as the go-to place to create. The refusion values of creativity, depth, and doing things a little different will always be with us. So, uh, they've changed the brand. And right now it's 2025 and it's very dangerous to make a brand change as we've seen with Cracker Barrel. You're, you're taking a chance. Ironically, this name change has happened recently. And although they're saying the reason being here that people can't often spell or remember refusion on first glance, no one seems to be referencing this new application that is actually producer.ai. So I only found this out by uh, doing an interview then going into Refusion and then Re Refusion actually bounces over to producer AI. Could be like X and people are still calling it Twitter. Who knows? All I know is right now, you're taking your life into your own hands by changing your logo or your branding. Okay, that aside, what I wanted to revisit other than the branding, there's two other things I wanted to talk about. I did a an episode months ago about Refusion when it was Refusion and I'll bounce back and forth with Refusion producer.ai, I just know they're the same thing. But back then it was still, I guess, an alpha phase. It was still being produced and it was a free tier. It was suggested to me by someone suggest well-respected in the community to try Refusion at the time. I looked into the terms and the terms at that time said you could not do anything commercially with this. And I'll just read the original terms of service. As ChatGPT has pulled up, they may not be word for word, but the, the idea was the same. I can confirm. I, I did some content around that. This is what it said. From the original Refusion terms, permission is granted to temporarily download one copy of the materials on on our website for personal non-commercial transition reviewing only. Under this license, you may not use the materials for any commercial purpose or for any public display. And that basically meant the output generated in Refusion was off limits to any commercial, no selling, licensing, or public representation, presentation, sorry. And it wasn't legally allowed under the free hobbyist style license. And that free license where you can't produce commercially is still available under the free terms. We'll just bring up the tiers that are there now because the, it is slightly different. So under the $0 per month one, you can top up your credits, I guess, but you have $0 per month, non-commercial use, very much the same is the original Refusion, but you can jump up to $6 a month. For, these are for the yearly subscriptions and all of a sudden you're entitled to commercial use. It's very much the same as the other music generators out there, such as Udio and Suno, where you know whatever legal stuff is still up in the air, you're still bound to that, but they give you the permission that says, once you produce it, it's yours. Now, obviously have your million legal conversations around what that means, that's fine. But as far as like producer AI, Udio and Suno as well, you know, Know, that's the songs are yours and whether it, you know you take your own chances and, and, and all that other stuff so those terms have changed and I wanted to get to that too because initially I when I was contacting Refusion I had some back and forth with them and I wanted to have a, a conversation with them as far as like the use of it and they were very much promising me at the time that they'd have a conversation with me and I could possibly do it live and they, they recanted that and said oh, we're too busy and we're not going to talk to you so I thought at that time I'll just get it out do that content and I want to basically if anybody's pulling up that content Content, I want to make sure I have an update here and they do have a commercial license available. That being said, I'm still using Suno all the time. So I wanted to do a demo of it because right now I'm getting great results in Suno 4.5 plus when it comes to creating content like in live albums. I'm loving doing live albums now. I know there's some other people out there that are doing live albums and having a lot of luck. If you're liking this content, please take a moment to subscribe and follow below. This is a community sort of channel. 
Uh, the better that I do, the better it is for all you guys, the better content I can make. Uh, I do interviews. Hopefully we'll get more people in uh, with more subscribers. Also, take note of the charity that I support, which is the John Fawcett Foundation. They do great work out in Indonesia restoring eyesight. I've gone on a trip with them. My plan is to dip into the AI community, the AI music community, at some point soon and to hopefully bring people out to Indonesia with me so we can see some of the life-saving work. You can make a donation to them either on my website at AIDIY.tech or go to the John Fawcett Foundation website and do a donation there. If you wanna support me, you can either do a donation on this video. Uh, I have a PayPal link below in the description. Also, if you wanna buy a t-shirt or a mug off me, that's fantastic. I don't make a lot of money uh, from that stuff, but I do appreciate my stuff getting out in the world. Please enjoy the rest of this video. So I thought I would take this opportunity to test the quality of Refusion to do a comparison to what I'm getting at Suno 4.5. So I'll play a song from my Dagwood Gypsy label that I have mostly on Spotify. I don't have a YouTube channel for it yet. I'll, I'll play a little bit of that and give you an example what it sounds like live and then I'll take the exact same prompts put in Refusion and, and you guys can judge for yourself. So this is Dagwood Gypsy. <laughs> Cool. So before we even get into that, you know, I hope you like that song with Dagwood Gypsy. It's awesome. I'll even play it in the car. It's on Spotify and all that. I'll give you a link to the album uh, down below. Uh, I know maybe it's inappropriate for, for this, but if you're enjoying that song, you can go see it. Um, so this is Refusion, now producer.ai. Uh, like I said, it's the same thing. You've got to re uh, agree to the terms. If you have a Refusion account, uh, then you can, you basically can log in. Even if you had a free account before, you can check it. It'll bring you up to the screen and you have to agree to the terms. If you don't, unfortunately it's invite only. Uh, if you know me or somebody else that has a uh, producer.ai account, you get invites. I don't know how many invites you get if you have paid tier. I get one uh, as the free tier. So that being said, we'll, we'll get into Refusion now and I'll take those same prompts from Suno 4.5 plus and I will put them in here. Cool. All right, so you're in here and you wanna check it out. So basically it's this thing up here, Compose. I don't know why it's up there. Maybe they want to try, there's all these other um, things in here, this helpful stuff. But if you want to compose a song, it's up here. Cool. So I'm going to add lyrics and I'm going to go ahead and prompt it just like I did Let the Smoke Decide in the other one. Describe the sound. Okay, cool. I've loaded up with the same lyrics, the exact same prompt for that persona that I have in Suno 4.5 Plus. So let's go ahead and uh, I'll see what happens, right? Like I want it to be a 1970s sounding kind of psychedelic rock. We'll see what happens. One thing I'll, I'll notice here, like what I like is it's showing the generation time. One of the things that, that Suno could improve on is you don't know when that song is going to come out. You, it's good that you can press play before it's done, but I love this. This is psychologically sound that you can see what's going on. That's why you like to see the bar come along with progress for pretty much anything. We didn't read the manuals. So. Okay, it automatically plays. Let's go ahead and play this and see how it goes.
Cool. All right. So we've we've produced that, and then I produced a second one. It only does one at a time. I muted the mic, so I'm just going to do my commentary again. We'll play this song, and then we'll play the second one. Like I said, it does one. I didn't particularly like the first one, but I, like I said, I always, you know, Suno gets a lot of chances, so I'll give this a couple chances. So you can hear the, the live sound. That's good. You can hear the crowd. Actually, it almost sounds a little bit more authentic, the crowd sound, but it's too brief. It doesn't sound like a live playing of a 70s, you know, psychedelic rock band so far. It's not, yeah, we'll, we'll play a bit more. So one thing I'll say that audio quality wise, it's a little bit better. I don't know if because in Suno, this particular thing, I wanted to be a bit grainy because it's 70s and all that. Um, I've very much waited for that. But this one has stuff happening in different years. So that's interesting to me. I don't love the version. So Suno seemed to understand the reality of frontman feeding off the audience, you know, and timing things. Like in the in the Suno one, it was like, if you want to know the truth of it, it paused for effect. Let the smoke decide. And this one's reading lines and not always reading lines correctly. It looks like they're missing a few words. We'll just get through the chorus and then we'll try the next one. Okay, yeah, so it cut it cut off. It didn't say the Let the Smoke Decide, which is pretty important uh, for a song that is called Let the Smoke Decide. Even though it didn't name it here, that's what the song is. I don't see a lot of soul in this song. But like I said, um, you know, it wasn't perfect all the way through Suno, although it was a lot closer to perfect than this on every try. I just didn't, you know, I had to wait till I get it exactly right. Let's try the next one. Again, it's, it sounds like there's spatial things happening. I can hear it sort of in the back here. Instead of all around here, it's not like one tone. It's, it's coming in different places. It's not giving me the performing live feeling. All the Suno ones did just to vary in levels until I, and I got the one that I wanted, but we'll keep going. Didn't read the manual, didn't ask for any sign. We just turned the thing to 10 and crossed a couple lines. They said, you're playing with the future. They said, man, it's just a ride. If you want to know the truth of it, let the smoke decide. Let the smoke decide. Let it grow. Let it fail. If it's real. So that's interesting. And that in that point, like it went through the first verse, and the pause for effect was leading into the chorus. So that that's good. I like that. Again, I don't I don't get the the soul from this like I got from the other one. Now I'm curious to see how it's going to pick up these tags and whether it's going to play the instrumental or not. Yeah. So, you know, there, there's, there's good in that and there's, there's bad in that. Or, or stuff that I don't particularly like in that. And it just, it doesn't seem as 
full of life as the Suno 4.5 plus. Like I enjoyed the producing of the entire album here because the whole time it just put me in the place of being in a 1973 stadium, some, you know, t whatever type band, psychedelic rock. And I felt like I was there. This one is just singing a song and it's very bland. That's what I'm feeling. Guys, I'm happy for you to have your own feelings for Refusion, Producer.ai. Maybe that it's just not good at live albums. There's a lot of stuff to sort of do. I've been being told that it's a lot better. And actually, I'll, I'll be fair, compared to the stuff that I've done in the past on Refusion, this is a lot better. It's a lot cleaner. It's doing stuff in my headphones. And uh, this might be really good for EDM because spatial stuff uh, is really good for EDM or even like uh, ambient stuff would, would possibly be potentially really good for something like this. But for this sort of stuff that I'm doing, which I'm, I'm like, I'll do like my satirical stuff and praise be vinyl, but I'm starting to do some other things too to try to play to some of the stuff that I like that's, um, I guess, outside of satirical, that's just musical. And this particular stuff, it's not doing it for Refusion, Producer.ai. But I'm glad we got the terms out of the way. I wanna come back a little bit because I don't wanna leave it in old information. I wanna do a bit of new content.